Hello everyone. Welcome to the senior project final presentation for the effort EFTT team. The team members for this project is uh, Jean Marco Agostinone and myself Raj Kapadia. The project owner and professor for this project is Masood Sajadi. This project is part of the School of Computing and Information Sciences at Florida International University. So to start off with, let's uh, take a look at the problem. Our project is essentially looking at automating forex day trading. So forex day trading is a form of trading that involves currency exchange. For example, um, taking the currency pair of pound to USD or euro to USD. And due to the high volatility of the market, as a day trader, um, this can be very time consuming and it requires a lot of attention in regards to um, how to analyze the market in order to actually get any profit by the end of the day. On top of that, you would require some knowledge on the tools that you're using to analyze the market, as well as understand what strategy to implement um, in order to satisfy the goals that you've uh, set. So our project uses the MetaTrader 5 application. This application is a platform used to um, create um, algorithms that will essentially automate day trading. Um, the MetaTrader 5 application, in the end, uh, creates an expert advisor, which is a set of um, analytical tools that are used to analyze the market. And um, using these tools, um, the expert advisor has an idea of when to buy or sell based on the market conditions. So the expert advisor we created is modeled after the Gordon strategy. So the Gordon strategy is composed of three main indicators, the boundary bands, the moving average convergence divergence or the MACD and relative strength index or RSI. So using these indicators, um, the Gordon strategy expert advisor is able to um, analyze the market and these indicators will basically send signals to the expert advisor when to sell or buy based on the conditions that have been set for each indicator. And I'll go into more depth um, on the next slide. So the bond band, uh, it is an indicator that gives an idea of how the market is, how volatile the market is. So using the image on the right, um, you can see that there's an upper band and a lower band. Um, and these bands are based off of the moving average. So if the upper band and the lower band are moving away from each other, or they're expanding, that's a sign of expansion. And it is also an indication that the market is um, has a high volatility. On the other hand, if it's um, contracting or they're coming to, if they're coming closer together, that just means that um, the expert advisor, I mean, not the expert advisor, the, um, the market is less volatile. So basically it gives an idea of how the market is trending. The MACD is used for as a trend following momentum uh, tool to understand the price trend. And it's based on, it's, cre it's a histogram that's um, created based on the exponential moving average. Um, if the MACD is above the baseline or the zero line, that means that the price is trending um, upward and if it is below the zero line that means the price is going downward. The relative strength index or the RSI is uh, also a trend following indicator tool and this is um, this tool as well as the MACD are essentially like secondary tools used to verify whether or not a specific trend is happening so they go hand in hand. Um, so what the RSI does is it um, based on the custom value, if it's above um, a specific value or below a specific value, it will determine an overbought or oversold condition. In the image on the left, you'll see that um, if it's above the 70 value, that's considered overbought. If it's below the 30 value, it's considered uh, oversold. And using this, uh, the expert advisor will get an idea of when to buy or sell. So to get an idea of how these three indicators work hand in hand, I will go to the MetaTrader 5 application and just give you a glimpse of how the expert advisor runs and how these 
indicators interact with each other. So right here, I have the Meditator 5 application open. Um, the three indicators are divided into three different or three separate windows. The bottom one right here is the MACD. This is the middle one is the RSI. And up here, um, we have the boundary band as well as some other indicators. So the green bands are the boundary bands. The orange bands are the Keltner channel. Um, so the Keltner channel is actually another indicator that we implemented into the Gordon strategy as we needed another method of detecting contraction in the boundary band. So this is a good tool that uh, we learned about and we were able to implement it. And um, the next thing we have is the blue line, which is basically uh, the dark blue line, which is basically the trailing stop. The trailing stop um, just helps in getting a higher profit and as well as um, avoiding create losses. So the as you can see, there's a red mark, red down arrow here. That's basically a sell. Um, the blue arrow here is a buy. And the red dotted line here is basically a short. So that's how the indicator has just based on uh, the current trend uh, where the MACD is going down here, like where the MACD is a negative with a negative slope, RSI is below the 30 mark. And during an expansion, because everything, all the signals are showcasing a downtrend, um, the expert advisor decided to sell and um, open a short position. So that's just a quick overview of the expert advisor itself. Down here, we also used a strategy tester. It's, um, there are many components as, and many reasons to use it. Um, here, it just so, shows a, um, the back test or basically how the Gordon strategy um, performed under a specific um, period of time. So let's take a look at um, how we actually implemented um, the project. So we started off with not having much knowledge about um, Forex day trading. Um, however, with that in mind, we had to begin with understanding the basic principles and what actually went into um, Forex day trading as a whole. Um, once we had that in mind, and once we learned about the basic concepts, we moved on to reviewing the previous semester's expert advisor. There are some um, wish list uh, components as well as um, some things that were ha that had not been implemented in the previous expert advisor. And so we basically built our expert advisor on top of theirs and modified um, a lot of things and uh, to just optimize the existing expert advisor. So once we had um, an idea of how the previous semester's expert advisor worked, we went forward and implemented um, a Bonjaban, the MACD, the RSI, and a few other indicators as well, such as the Keltner channel and the support resistance bands. Since all of these worked hand in hand, um, it basically was working throughout a course of like 45 days. Um, so once we had these placed, uh, we went on and our final step was to um, use the strategy tester as a way to optimize the expert advisor. Um, once we um, had a set of inputs that we should use for our custom variables, um, we went on and implemented those um, inputs and um, created the expert advisor as, a, as our final um, product. So this is the NAT chart. Um, it's just a list of... Um, how long it took for each component to be implemented. Um, for example, the bond ban took 45 days. Most of the signals took 45 days uh, approximately. And um, it's just an overview of how long the project took as a whole. The UML case diagram is just, um, it's similar to how I presented um, using the Metatata 5 application. Um, however, just to go into more depth, when you start off the MetaTrader 5 application, you um, basically select an expert advisor, the currency pair you want to use the EA on, uh, customize the inputs and select the time frame to run it on. Once this is set, um, it will initialize all the uh, visuals uh, of the indicators. And 
when it's running, uh, basically what happens is each indicator um, sends out a signal when it um, satisfies the market condition. And once that's in place, the metatrader will update the server and a buy or sell signal will be displayed on the visual. This is our system design architecture. Um, so at the top is the expert advisor and right below is the four main indicators that we implemented, the boundary band, the MACD, the RSI, and we thought of adding the support and resistance as a signal as well. It has an indicator below it and the boundary band has a Keltner channel indicator below it as well. Um, once those are, are in place, um, Basically, what happens is there's an there's a condition for each um, as I mentioned there's a condition for each um, signal to satisfy and if it's satisfied the signal is sent to the EA. This is our UML sequence diagram, just an overview of how um, each class interacts with um, each of the other classes and um, how the expert advisor runs as a whole. So our application pattern is using a client-server pattern, uh, client-server design, where the only time the MetaTrader 5 application um, client interacts with the server is when the expert advisor has to send a buy or sell signal. This is, again, similar to the um, above diagram. It's the UML system deployment diagram. And again, um, there's a UI interface that interacts with the server and updates the UI according to the signal that's been sent. So this is our UML class diagram. As you can see, there are many different um, variables or parameters that have that are customizable for the user. There could be a time where, um, according to a different strategy, these parameters or these indicators may have different weights in the expert advisor. So if the user wants to change it, um, he or she has the ability to do so. So our expert advisor has a behavioral design pattern as well as a structural pattern. Now, not all the different types of pattern have been implemented within those uh, two, but one of the ones that we, um, <clears throat> we adhere to was the comp composite pattern. So the composite pattern is basically an object tree in which the expert advisor is on the top it's uh, the root, and the leaves would be considered the um, the indicators. So the ex the expert advisor is heavily dependent on these indicators and their signals in order to actually make any um, trading decisions in the market. This is um, just an overview of our persistent data design. It it heavily relies on the trade functions and especially um, the history. So for our MetaTrader 5 um, application, there's a list of um, security and privacy tools that they've enforced. Um, and the more the one that concern that would be of concern for us most is um, <clears throat> communication with the server and when to buy or sell. And of course, that is over a secure connection. So here's a quick example of um, one of our um, implementations that we did. So as I mentioned before, the Keltner channel was um, an addition to the Gordon strategy. Uh, and we use the Keltner channel to detect a contraction. And it's very important because during a contraction, we there, there should be there shouldn't be any trades because there isn't any actual trend that's going on. And with that, if for example, if we were to trade during that period, it would be very unreliable in terms of not knowing where the trend is heading. And in for that case, we basically um, use a Keltner channel to detect a squeeze. And what it does is that the Keltner channel is built off of um, the EME or the expert exponential moving average and the average true range. And using these two, um, it basically creates bands. So once these bands are created, uh, one way of detecting um, the contraction is that the Bollinger upper band and the Bollinger lower band will be within the Keltner channel. So 
<clears throat> as you can see the picture on the right the Keltner channel the orange lines are um, basically engulfing the boundary band and same with the, with expansion it's the opposite if the boundary band is engulfing the Keltner channel there's an expansion so for testing purposes we relied heavily on manual testing and the strategy tester the reason being is that um, in order to understand how the expert, our expert advisor would react um, to different market conditions, we had to run it on multiple um, time periods and see what um, patterns were most commonly used. Um, based on that, we were able to set certain um, rules and conditions for each pattern that we implemented. And based on that, the expert advisor was able to create better trades and better trading decisions. So here on, you can see that there are two images. One, the upper um, image is over a course of one month in 2018. The lower image is over a course of one month in 2019. So there's a huge difference um, in the total net profit and the number of trades um, and so on, only because of the different market condition during those two periods. We also used the strategy tester uh, to optimize the expert advisor. So as I mentioned earlier, the class diagram has a list of parameters that are customizable. In order to determine which parameters are uh, or values are best for the expert advisor, we ran it through a genetic algorithm. What the genetic algorithm does is it just takes the combination of all these parameters and returns the best uh, combination that is out there based on the test case that we've set. So for our case, I mean, for our expert advisor, we had our test case was to maximize profit, maximize the number of trades, and to have the, le the um, least amount of lo loss rate, I mean loss ratio. And um, using that, uh, we were able to get a set of values that we used for our expert advisor. So the expert advisor is a very useful tool in automating day trading. As I mentioned earlier, as a Forex day trader, it requires a lot of time and knowledge um, to understand how the Forex uh, market works just on its own. And then on top of that, you have to come up with um, a list of indicators that will be useful for your strategy and then understand how those indicators or how those patterns actually influence your decision making. What the expert advisor does is replaces any of the decision-making process. It uses the same indicators, the same patterns um, that the trader has um, implemented, but the hard decisions are you know, based on um, the expert advisor. And that is how the Gordon strategy actually automates day trading. It's using three of the most common um, Indicator, indicator tools that are used to actually analyze the Forex market. On top of that, these three indicators go hand in hand. And I say this because, for example, the Bonjour Band is the primary indicator in the Gordon strategy, and the MACD and RSI act as secondary indicators, but they're very important because they actually verify whether there's a specific trend that the Bonjour Band is um, going into. And using that, um, it's easier to make a, a easier and less risky to make a bad trading decision. So I hope you enjoyed this presentation. If you, however, want to reach out, um, the information is listed here. Also, we have our wiki page set up. If by any um, chance you do want to understand more about how these indicators work, there's a list of um, indicators and a uh, very in-depth analysis of how it uh, it works and also how uh, how we've actually implemented these indicators into the expert advisor so thank you